Hey everybody, Steven and Caleb here. We have May's Loot Crate. The last one we got, I thought it would, was May's Loot Crate. Turns out it wasn't. I guess the shipment was delayed that long and I just... The last handful have been delayed, so I haven't really been paying much attention to it. I don't try to look ahead for what the theme is or anything like that. I truly want this to be a surprise when it comes to us. So I guess this one is May's. The last one I got was... Uh, March? March? No. Because they come out every two months. Um, so it was either February's or March's. But some people, I had one guy comment, he didn't even get his. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. It just seems like the last three or four, there's been a delay in shipment because they either couldn't get one of the products on time um, or a couple of them. So hopefully uh, that person got that cleared up because I told them to call the company. And um, obviously if you're paying 40 bucks for one of these, like you want to get it. So this is Maze. Go ahead and open this up. So let's see what we got. <gasps> yes, I've been waiting for this dude. Okay, he is... Hello, um, Emile A239? Emile. Emile. So Emile, if you don't know, is the one that has the skull on his um, head, uh, or his helmet there, which looks really, really cool. And so he's from Halo Reach? Yes, yeah, so this is Emile A239. Um, you can see that it's going to be hard to see on the uh, phone here, but this will probably be a better picture there. So looking at that, he's one of my favorite characters. His helmet is actually one that I've used in Halo 5 um, quite frequently. So yeah, it's this so is the cool. coolest helmet, in my, one of the coolest in my opinions. So we have that. What do we got there? Uh, we got this hmm. weird thing. I believe I'm going to need the scissors to cut that. Can you do it? For your honors, sir? Right. That's very uh, it is a salt and pepper shaker. It is? Yeah, it says on the box. Well, I'm sure mom will love us using a Halo salt and pepper shaker. I would need to do the bottom too. Uh, and it kind of looks like grenades or bombs. So what he wears on his belt. So they try to follow a theme based off a character, right? Or event. So with this one, he has the... Um, I, don't know, I always think of Terminator 2. They're basically like the hand cannon bullets. But I got them, and they got like little S and P. Yep, salt and pepper. Screw that open. And you got that there. That's nice. Yeah. I like it. Pretty sure mom's not going to let us use these at the table, though. So you'll probably just put these up as like decorations. And then when you go off to college or whatever you want to do after high school, you can wear those. Let's see about this one, though. I don't, I'm like very interested in this one. Oh, uh, yeah, because there's not a t shirt in this one. I just noticed that. So let's see what we got here. What? It's a water container thing. <laughs> water container. It's a flask. Flask? <laughs> oh, with his dope. face. With his face on it. That is cool. It has a skull on there. This is a flask. So this is not for you, although you could put water in it. Why? This is for alcohol. Oh. What is that? It's like a... Oh, know. a funnel to get it in there. Well, there we go. Definitely well, can not I for just a kiss. put water in it? You could just put water in it. That is very, very cool. So put this in It got a little that. bag Yeah, in and it's it. got a little bag for it. Okay. Well, let's see what we got with this one. This looks like a bandana. Let me see. I hope it is. I've been waiting for a new bandana. Nope, it's like one of those. That is a bandana. <laughs> Wait, so you go like. Yeah. I I want this. This is it. Cause. That's my thing. For bandana. That's a cool one. If he had one, can we had one of Hannah's? Maybe. Sleeve. So this is his bandana. That's really cool. I like what they do with the golden and black thing. Yeah. That's I like that. And it's... they and they have a. Um, Banshee. Banshee. Little pen. For the pen. Yeah. Which, whatever the pen is, typically that is the thing that ends up being whatever the confidential sheet is. I never get is. any, like, gold vehicles for we've gotten, the pens. Well, we've gotten, like, one or two gold ones. One. One. It was only, um, what was that vehicle? 
There's no guns. Yeah. Well, unless you get the one with the canyon. So, so the for the game, just basic stuff. It is 23.2 feet long. And it has a top speed of 67 miles per hour. I thought that would be faster. Maybe that's not with boost. In tactical flight mode is what it says. Weighs 1.3 tons. Flies no higher than 300 meters above the ground. Yeah, that is that. Then you'll explode. I see the poster though. I'm so excited about the poster. Yeah, it's probably yours. Grab that one. Oh, that's cool. You got a little shotgun. Yep, and that, so there's a meal. And the box is actually... And has the skull in there also. That's pretty cool. So, let me look at this real quick. Uh, on the back? Yeah. I know. Oh, they did it again. What? So instead of getting rec packs for Halo 5, now you're just getting like Avatar things. And this one's another t-shirt, which I don't really mess with that. I don't want really to use it, so... You have your Banshee okay. pin, uh, your Emil bandana, your Halo icon, which is the figurine. Okay. Um, you have the flask, the data drop file, which is talking about the Banshee, and then the salt and pepper shakers. That is it. Uh, Ma I'm surprised there has, wasn't any extras, like one person or three or something. Get, so. uh, yeah, one of the things that they didn't do this time because it's usually in the corner is like one lucky person gets a mythic crate which is a halo um xbox or something. xbox one x uh, or um controllers well they, i mean it'll come with a controller but sometimes they get like five lucky winners get oh yeah like um i don't know if that means they're ramping down or what it may be i mean with halo infinite coming out here soon especially with e3 around the corner and them announcing doesn't seem like this would be something that they would ramp down. I don't know how many people are subscribed to this, though, and if they're weighing options with this, because um, they still have a ton of stuff that they could do. But that is this Halo loot crate. Wait, hold on. So this is Maze. Um, so we should get the next one August. That's my birthday! Or it should be every other month. It should be July. But at the current rate that it's going, I don't, I don't know Wait, with that. For the icon and the thing? Yeah. They're both doing the same thing. Yeah, they're doing the same pose. Yep. That's cool. So, uh, like I said, this was Maze. Um, and this was Emil. Uh, loot Crate screenshots. I think it was also the same thing. Well, this is Series 3. Yeah, series 3. You got Series 2 over there. So, that is it guys, I am gonna put a link so that you can get $5 off if you decide that you want to subscribe for the Halo Loot Crate. Um, we, we thoroughly enjoy this Wait, stuff. Wait, I just noticed something. We, all, we have the whole entire Reach team. Nice. But we just need a main character, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do that. Oh, your Noble Six? Uh, I don't know, he might be over there. We got him, him. Yeah, we got George and all of them. Yeah. Uh, so, I'll put that link for that. Um, we'll have to see with the next one. I have to go in and update it because I'm gonna switch the shirt size so that he gets them because I just, I usually use mine as workout shorts or um, as uh, yard work short shirts just because uh, I've always said bump up a size because they do shrink really, really bad on you. And I'm kind of in between a large and an extra large. So um, it ends up, some of them fit really, really well, and then sometimes I notice they're just they're too baggy, or sometimes they're just too small. So, typically though, um, with the size up, because I, I I chose to go with an XL, it does fit relatively decent. So, that is it for this one. I'll put that uh, code in for you guys. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of our content, um, once they launch, you can't learn how to tie that. Once they uh, showcase, and I'm assuming they're going to showcase actual gameplay footage okay. this year at E3 because they are slated to do a presentation on Halo Infinite, um, I'll probably do a little bit of covering with some of that stuff. Not too much just because there's so many people out there making videos um, and they have their own Halo dedicated channel towards it. So uh, I don't want to put a ton of time into something like that when there's other people doing a lot more coverage with that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Check back soon for more videos.